Hi, and welcome to Qigong Live Online. This is the first of our lessons we're going to do today, and, and the lesson we're going to do is on the Sheba Shu. The Sheba Shu is a certain system that has 18 exercises. We're going to do the whole 18 exercises over the next six week period. And what I'm designed to do is to do a, a block of six weeks, and in each of the different time slots, we're doing the, uh, these live uh, Qigong blocks or Qigong webinars. We're, and after six weeks we'll change and do another one, so we get a variety, so we do a different set every six weeks, so we have a variety of different exercises. But before we start the Sheba Shua, I want to do something really important, which is the stances. It's about how we stand and how we position our body so that our body's all lined up, so when we're doing the exercises, all the energy travels up and down our body with no sort of blockages and such. There's a, a set of exercises, there's three exercises in it. And the other part is to open your lungs, so that you open your lungs, so you get this maximum amount of oxygen to our body. And the next one is about opening and closing the lower dantian, clearing and perverse chi. So these are really important. So we'll go through all the different parts of the stances, then we'll do the exercise, and we always say we do the same opening and closing at the end, so it's like a warm up and then a warm down to the general exercises. And then at the end of the lesson, I'll have a question and answer for you. And if you have any questions, you want to come online, you can ask me any questions about the lesson we've done, or if you've got your webcam on, if you turn it on, I can see you, and you can show me as well. I have your mics turned off during the lesson because it has a bit of feedback coming through, and I'll turn them back on afterwards in case you want to use your mic to ask me a question. And of course, if you see on there, there's a chat line as well. I just see that I'd like to welcome Phil, and I'd like to welcome Sandy on there today. There's also some people from Germany are on there, and I see some people from London and Greece on there today, so we've got quite an international crowd today, so welcome to everybody. Well, first of all, we're going to go through and do our stance. So we start off with our feet, and our feet are generally parallel to the front. Now, the gap between our feet is about the width, the space of your own foot is about a width space, and you're standing inside. Your both feet are parallel towards the front. Yep. And the kidney point we're standing on, Yong Chuan, in the bottom of your foot, it's right between the two pads at the front of these with your toes, the two pads, and it's right in the middle of the pads. And Yong Tran means bubbling spring, and they believe that the energy of the ground comes up through those points and, and earths our body, because we're like a giant wet cell battery. So that what it does is, is earths our energy of our body. I think that's why gravity is here to keep us on the ground, of course. So we anchor through those points, and we get a lot of energy comes up through the ground through those points into our body. So, so we do that. Then to the weight of the heels, there's no weight on the heels at all, but the heels are touching the ground. There's no weight, so you feel like you're sprung. Yeah? You bring your knees together, and then bring your knees apart and stretch the ligaments and tendons in your hips and then come back and then put your knees above your toes. They're slightly bent, they're not too, not too low, not too high, but there's a little bit of a bend and what it does is stop you locking and standing on your bones. Because what we want to do is stand on our muscles and get our muscles working and get the chi circulating in our muscles. Next thing we do is we come up to our pelvis. We do what I call a pelvic tuck. And you tuck your pelvis underneath and you tuck it forward and then let it slide back down again. So you bring it, so instead of your bum sticking out, you bring it forward and then set it down. It tucks under your sacrum, so we get a nice energy flow right down our spine, yeah? Next thing we do is we pull up our pelvic floor muscles, or our perineum. So in the, in the ancients, they have a term like how they do it. The Chinese character for this is they call it anus puckering. I know that sounds a bit funny, but it's like if you squeeze your anus together, and what it does is it, it links the two two energetic points either side of the anus together, the do and the Renmai channel together. Don't do it too hard, just do it enough and then just relax. The next one you do is your genitals and you squeeze your genitals, both males and females, and then relax. It takes the tension out of there. And the next one we do is our tummy. So we'll talk in the next lesson, we'll talk about the breathing in the Bhagavan Jin lesson. We'll talk about the breathing one and when I put it up on YouTube, I'll put these up on YouTube. Look at the one about the breathing too because there's lots of different forms of breathing in Qigong. And for this particular one, we're going to breathe in and out through our nose, but the opening and closing is in through our nose, out through our mouth. But we'll talk, as I say, I'll explain a little bit more of that as we go. So, in, our, in check on breathing, we breathe right down to our tummy. We want to, for this particular one, you're going to bring the energy right down into our tummy. As I say, we'll explain in the breathing exercise in more detail about this. So, pull your tummy in and breathe out. Go. Let your tummy muscles relax and breathe in. You might see that back to front. So pull your tummy and breathe out. Set all the energy out of your lung. And let your tummy relax. And feel your lungs expand. Good. Now from your head string, which is bark weight, so on top of your head, there's a point right on the very, very top. And it's like having a cord attached to that. 
And if you think of all of your vertebrae all stacked on top of each other, they used to use the they used to use the terminology like having gold coins standing on top of each other. And with your head string, you stretch them up and you in breath. And then relax, breath back, breathe out. So it allows them to stretch them all up and then you can press them slowly and just let them all sit on top of each other that way. It takes the tension out of all the muscles down the spine. Eh? That's pretty cool. So the next one we do is we're gonna do our, our back. We bring our elbows forward to stretch our back. Bring your elbows back and you stretch your chest, eh? Feel your chest stretching and then back. Then you bring your shoulders forward, which stretch, stretches your scapula, those are those big wing bones of the back, and then you stretch your shoulders back and stretch your clavicle. These are those shoulder bones up here. Just throw these those hard bones there. It stretches the energy of both those and backwards and forwards because the energy field goes around across, across the back and around the side as well. Good. The next thing we bring our elbows to the side. Now, they call it um, hollowing your elbows or hollowing your armpits. And so, it's like they, they actually they should put eggs under their arms, hold their arms out, or pebbles. And, st and so they have to walk around like this to stop them doing this so that they didn't lock their arms up. So they always had that feeling that their arms were a little bit loose and they're hanging out and they're relaxed. Yeah? So you have your elbows slightly to the side. In your mind, you relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, relax your wrist, and you hollow your palms as though you're holding something in the palms of your hands. You hold them and your fingers facing towards the ground. Have your arms relaxed. Now, so now your spine's straight, your pelvis is tucked, your knees are all in, in alignment. And when you're standing here, now from your head string, you're all lined up. A few more to do. Next thing, we bring our chin back. So if I show you from the side on, when you bring your chin back, you pull it back. But you don't want to bring it up or down. It just goes straight back, which takes the bit of the bend down of your neck and take the pressure off all the muscles and ligaments in your neck. So pull it, pull it back. Slightly back. Put your tongue on the roof of their mouth, which links the Ren and the Do My channel. The Do My channel ends here, which is the channel that goes right across the top of your head and all the way down your spine to your anus. And the Ren My channel travels from here all the way down the front. This is the Ren My, which is also called a conception vessel. And they link either side of your anus. So that's when you squeeze your anus, you actually connect those two points up. And by putting your tongue on the roof of your mouth at the top, you link this vessel up. So now that we have a an energetic circuit going around inside ourselves, up our back and down the front. They call it a, in some circles, they call it a microcosmic orbit. And when we do the sitting Qigong exercises, we do a, a breathe pattern for that. And we'll talk about that when we do as a, as a particular meditation pattern we can do. And we'll talk about how that works. That comes up the top, down, comes up the back, spine usually comes this way. Cool. There's lots of variations to that, but that's one of the ways. But by linking these up, we'll link that up so we link this energy working inside our body. Next thing, we, we relax our lips. So, so our lips are just sort of touching, but there's no sort of hanging onto your teeth. And the same with your teeth and your jaw, just relax. Yep, so tongue roof of your mouth, lips slightly relaxing, and just relax your jaw. With your eyes, you look straight ahead, but you don't actually look at anything. You sort of look without looking. It's a funny terminology, but you, you'll understand what I'm saying. You just don't look at anything particular, you don't stare at it, you just look into the distance. But you look, stay eye height, don't look down, and don't look up, look straight, straight ahead. Yeah? And the last one we do is you hang from your head string. It feels like a, these ways it's like a, it's like a um, elastic band or a bungee cord, so you actually hang on it. So if you pull it up too straight, your legs too straight, it, it'll, get, it'll get loose. But if you come down too much, you'll stretch it and it wants to pull you back up again. So you sort of look like sprung in the sort of stance, especially on your muscles when you're standing there and you're suspended by your head string. Cool. And you stand in that position. Cool. Now this is all the 18 steps of the, they call it the quiescent standing form, it's a great name. It's about standing in a posture, so our posture is perfectly right, and we go back to this posture at the end of the lesson as well. The next thing we're gonna do, the second part of the opening and closing, is called exhaling and inhaling form. And this is where we clean the energy out of our lungs. It's very simple. We bring our hands onto our dunty end, now dunty in, for those who don't know, it's, it's our tummy button. It's about three fingers underneath our tummy button. We put our finger underneath that and it's halfway between that point and the back. It's like right in the middle of your body. And that's meant to be our physical center. That's called a dunty in. So we put our hands on the dunty in. Now for males, you put your left hand on your dunty in. And for females, you put your right hand on your dunty in and the left over the top. But for men, we do it the other way around. The reason being, somebody asked me the other day, is that this is our young hand, even though this is our yin side of the body, the left side is our yin side, but our hand's our young hand. And on the other side, it's a young side of the body, but this is a yin hand. 
this is a yang hand, I find I'm sure I don't do here, there, back, right, back, right, way. So there's a yang hand, yin hand. So for us, a yang, I'm a yang person, I'm a male, so it goes on there. If you're a female, you're a yin person, and it goes yin first. So what we do from here is we bend down, we just keep our back straight, and bend down and breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Hold your breath and stand up. Good. Breathe out again on the way down. Breathe in through your nose. Feel your lungs expand. Hold your breath, stand up. I mean, we're doing the breathing down here, so we pull our tummy and breathe out. Push the diaphragm up, breathe out. Just relax our stomach muscles, all the air rushes back in. Hold your breath, stand up. Good, we do that three times. Now we're going to do the opening and closing of the lower dantian. And as we bend down, we breathe out. Breathe in. Make sure the hands touch in the front. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. We'll do it one more time. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hands back on the dunty and stand up. Cool. Now, for, for the people who are not used to these exercises, you'll find their muscles will get quite sore, just especially when you're squatting down. Also, because you're standing on your front part of your feet and not your heels, all the muscles are engaged, so all your calf muscles are going to get quite sore, but that's okay. They just get stronger over time and you end up with really strong, energetically strong fit, fit legs. But just mind that this, at the end of this, sometimes it can be shaking, but that's okay, that's just quite normal. So that's the three, three exercises, the three beginning exercises, the quiescent standing form, the exhaling and inhaling form, and then followed by the opening and closing of the lower dantian. And as I say, we'll do those at the end, it's on the way out as well, to close the exercises off. So now we're going to do the Sheba Shur. The Sheba Shur, Tai Chi Gong, is a, probably one of the most famous exercises practiced in the world today. Millions of people do this exercise, and it's a lot of different variations. So if you go onto the internet or go onto YouTube, you'll find there's lots of different ways of doing this. And my say on this, and I always say that to, about anybody, the best set of exercises, the best form it is, the one you practice the most. So if you practice whichever one you do, they all have the same, very, very similar aspects to what they do, and they open channels in a certain order, in a certain way, that whichever one you're doing, and your mind's inside your body doing this, then they're gonna be working perfect. So it's a practice thing. So first of all, you start off with your palms facing towards the ground. Our Lao Gong point, which is a pericardium point, is right in the middle of our palms, our hands, and we connect that to the ground so that you've got almost like an energy coming out of our hands, connected to the ground. So we have our kidney points we stand on, and the hands, so we, we're like four points of contact to the earth. We're breathing up the energy from the ground. Now this first exercise is called wave hands over the lake. It's a really simple exercise. The arms come up, and keep, keep your shoulders down, and bring your arms down. Good. Bring your arms up. And bring them down. Good, it's very simple, that's all we have to do. There's a little bit more detail to this, but we'll talk about it in later, later, later lessons. Breathing in as we come up, and you breathe out as you come down. Breathe in as you come up, breathe out as you come down. Good, breathing in. So when we're lifting our arms up and down, you want to make your arms as light as possible so they feel like they're floating up and floating down. The big important thing to do is remember not to pick your shoulders. So you, when you pick up, you don't pick your shoulders up. You keep your shoulders down the whole time. The other thing important with the breath is that the, the you try and regulate the breath. So the in-breath and the out-breath are the same duration. So if we breathe into the count of four, say so four, one, two, three, four on the way up, and we breathe one, two, three, four on the way down. So most of these exercises, we always want to do even breaths in, even breaths out. Most we don't get too much oxygen in the body, but mind we don't build up too much carbon dioxide as well. Breathe normally through the exercises. Don't take big, huge breaths in. Because what you do is you get so much oxygen, you'll tip yourself over and you'll faint. So we don't want that. So just breathe, just breathe your normal breath and just breathe it slower. So it's just a quiet breath. The idea is just for relaxing. We're not trying to do any, do any marathon running. We're just trying to relax 
And as we do this, the energy moves in inside our body, up and down the channels, and cleans the channels out, and energizes our body. Cool, and we'll just do one more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Cool, well done, that's really cool. It's an easy one, that one. The next one's called, uh, Embrace the mountain. It's similar to the first one. The start of it's similar to the first one. But before we start, you rock back onto your heels and you bring your hands up. Then you put your hands, your palms towards palms, and you open. As you open, you rock forward onto the onto the toes of your toes and your feet. But keep your heels on the ground so your heels always stay on the ground. And then rock back onto your heels as you close. As you go back, keep your toes on the ground so you don't your heels or toes don't come off the ground and down. Hands come up, open, good. Rocking forward, rocking back. So just the rocking forward and rocking back comes with the opening and closing. As the hands go up and down, there's no movement. So I'm so waiting on the heels. And then rock forward as I come forward. And rock back. I'm just turning to the side so you can see that. So I'm sitting here, waiting on the heels, the hands come up. As I open, I come forward. As I go back, close. And then down. Okay. Now the breathing for this is pretty simple. It's a long breath and it's a, it's, it's a slow breath. So breathing in. Keep breathing, and as we open, keep breathing in. So it's one long breath. Breathing out, one long breath out as well. Breathing in. time. Breathing in. Breathing out. This exercise is good for the kidneys and good for the heart. Okay. We're finished and so you feel your hands all tingling, which is a good thing. And now we're going to close them off. Remember we do the opening closing in reverse order. So bring a hand on the dunt here. Remember, males put your left hand on, females put your right hand on first. Bending down, breathing out. Breathing in. This is, clean, this is called opening, closing the lower dunt here. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Hands on the dunt here and stand up. Exhaling form, the exhaling inhaling form, bending down, breathing out. Breathe in through your nose. Hold your breath, stand up. Good. Hold down, breathe out. Breathe in. Hold your breath, stand up. Breathe out and the way down. through your nose. Hold breath, stand up. Good. And then bring your hands to the side to do the quiescent and standing. Remember that feet parallel to the front. Bring your knees together. Bring your knees apart. Rest your knees above your toes. In your mind, think of your ankles. Relax your ankles. Relax your knees. Relax your hips. Tuck your pelvis and relax. Pull up your perineum and relax. Your pelvic floor muscles. Pull up your gentle. Squeeze your gentles and relax. Lower tummy, pull your tummy in, breathe out. Relax, breathe in. Good, head string stretch, stretch it up. And relax. Good, elbows forward, stretch your back. Elbows back, stretch your chest. 
shoulders forward, switch your skate up. Shoulders back. Switch your clavicle, good. Bring your elbows to the side, hold your armpits, relax your shoulders, elbows, wrists, hold your palms. Bring the, put the tongue on the roof of your mouth. Relax your lips. Just let the lips just slightly touch, relax your jaw. And look at your eyes and just look. Just notice stare, and then from your head string, just hang from your head string. I want you to do three in and out breaths and relax on the out breath. So correction, relax on the in breath. So breathe out, put your tummy in, breathe out. Let your whole body relax on the in breath. Put your tummy in, breathe out. Relax, breathe in. Put your tummy in, breathe out. Relax, breathe in. Good, just sit there and relax, just, just breathe normally. Well done, so that's the first two exercises. We'll do a few more in, in the next next week's uh, lesson. I hope you enjoy them. Just remember the breath, breathing, make sure you don't breathe too hard, breathe normal, your normal breath and try to do the in breath, out breath duration. And if you have any questions, I'll go back to my computer now, so if you've got any questions, just type them in, or as I say, I'll turn your speakers back on, you can ask me and I'll, and I'll answer your question for you. Have a good week and keep practicing and, if, and the good thing about this is you can go back if you can't quite remember you can go back and watch, watch them again so it's good i'm also going to put them up on youtube so if you miss one of these ex lessons you have to go out or something um, you'll be able to catch up on the next one anyway so i'll put it up every week for you so you'll be able to access those okay bye bye and i'll go and answer your questions eh? see you later.